Cheryl Williams is a very beginner-friendly survivor to pick for your first time playing Evil Dead the game. Now, with Cheryl, what you're going to be focusing on right off the bat is you're going to be kind of the babysitter of the team since she's a healer. So you're going to be constantly during battle paying attention to everybody's health bars down on the bottom left of the screen. Now, not only can Cheryl drop an area of effect healing ability, but when she drinks colas, she can heal everybody on the team. And when she uses her amulets, it gives everybody a bit of shield. So when your teammates find shimp colas and amulets, try to get them to give those to Cheryl, because she provides everybody with a boost in that case. And here's a little big tip. Team up with Pablo. Pablo has the ability to create amulets every every so often. I think it's every minute or so. I haven't played them, so I don't know 100% the cooldown on that. But stick with Pablo, and he can drop amulets to give to Cheryl, who can then provide everybody with an armor boost. So she has a nice bit of team chemistry with Pablo. Now, some extra tips that I see folks having trouble with here in the beginning is learning to dodge. Definitely learn to dodge attacks. Um, learn to shoot if you don't play FPSs that often. Learn to shoot. Shooting is great to take down demons such as Elagos. Uh, that's a big one. I see a lot of people having trouble with Elagos. I'm going to throw this in with Cheryl's tutorial because I think it will help a lot of people out. Elagos, when he attacks, he's frozen in place. Use those moments when he's frozen to shoot him from a distance. Elagos is the weakest demon health-wise. If you can't shoot him, get your entire team to beat on him relentlessly because then he'll stagger and he won't be able to do anything. If it's only one or two people trying to beat him and get him down, it's not enough. Try to get the, as, as much of the team to focus on beating up Elagos as possible and he'll go down a lot easier. If you don't, he'll just try to take out everybody one by one. If you are not Cheryl and you have Cheryl on your team, make sure you're babysitting her because she'll end up being a prime target for the, uh, for the Kandarian Demon to try to take out because she's very crucial as a healer. Make sure you're paying attention to your skill tree when leveling up Cheryl and create a build that seems to fit your playstyle. I have, for example, a very aggressive ranged and melee attack build. Keep in mind that you can't gain every perk and have them all active at once. You can only level characters up to 25 and you can only have so many perks. What you're looking at on the screen right now is as many perks that Cheryl can possibly have. So you're going to be removing skill points and then adding skill points in other places to create a build that works for you. And that's the beauty of this game is that you can create so many builds with one character. One Cheryl is not going to be the same as somebody else's Cheryl, depending on the play style. And that's honestly pretty much it. Cheryl is very self-explanatory, very easy for a beginner to get into. Definitely go in if you're starting out playing the game. You'll be able to passively kind of figure out what's going on if you don't know what's going on in the game. And just use Cheryl to pay attention to people's health bars, give them the hills, give them their health back. And then you'll kind of grow from there and you'll be able to move into other characters as you're learning what's going on and you're learning how the team chemistry works together. You guys have a good one. Good luck on getting into Evil Dead for the first time. And uh, I'll be posting more survivors as I go along. I'm currently working on Kelly. And yeah, really fun game. Having a blast with it, you guys. Definitely jump into the Twitch live streams. I do live streams daily. Come over to Twitch, say hey, check it out. We can hang out and play together, get some matches going. You guys have a good one. I will see you later. Bye-bye.